Welcome to Live From Your Laptop. Here's straight from Clavio's community of some of the fastest growing brands and partners about how they're growing their e-commerce business and owning their destiny. Hosted by Morgan Lasky, for today's episode, we welcome Magical Brands. Hello, Clavio community, and welcome to Live From Your Laptop. Um, my name is Morgan Lasky, and I lead our community events here at Clavio. Today, I am coming to you live from Rockport, Massachusetts. Yes, I am, I am back from sunny Puerto Rico. I did bring the sun, but I did not bring the warmth back to Boston. Um, but I am in Rockport, Massachusetts today because we are filming a very special event uh, that you will learn more about tomorrow. I don't want to spill too much of the beans. Hey, Stephanie, North Shore, Massachusetts represent. <laughs> um, but I want to know who from the community is tuning in today. So feel free to turn those videos on, but stay on mute uh, and pop over to the chat. Let me know who you are, where you're tuning in from and what company you're with. Um, let everybody in the community know uh, that's the joy of live from your laptop, hosting it as a Zoom meeting. We can all kind of talk to each other. So today we have a super informative show for you, but if you are joining us for the very first time here on Live From Your Laptop, welcome to the show. In the next hour, you're gonna hear from one of our 60,000 growing customers about what's working for their business and what's not. You'll hear everything from how they built the brand to ways they've used Clavio to help connect with and personalize the customer experience. After, we do a fun activity just to jazz it up a bit and learn something new. So today, we welcome the lead of marketing strategy of Magical Butter to show to the show to discuss how this brand grew by over 300% over the last three years. They've had amazing growth. She will also chat with us about some of the advertising constraints they've faced um, in this censored market, even though they don't per se sell CBD, um, she's definitely a thought leader in that space. And she's gonna offer some insights on that for us today and how to overcome that. And then uh, we're gonna look at how Clavio has been a great partner for them to connecting them to their audience. And you guys will be able to take down so many amazing notes to try with your brand. Uh, there were some great, community submitted questions that I incorporated into my set today, but I also encourage you guys to put some questions in the chat. Uh, for those who have joined us in the past, thanks for coming back. You guys know that the chat is available for you to ask questions and communicate with each other. So please feel free to do that. Um, if we do have time, we'll get to some of the questions in the chat. After our little Q and A, Randy is going to show us how to make some fruity pebble treats for adults, uh, so maybe don't feed these to your kids. Um, I unfortunately won't be partaking in the adult Fruity Pebbles today, uh, but excited to make them this weekend. Then we have another giveaway, the first and 20th person in the chat to answer uh, correctly. We'll do this at the end. You guys are gonna get a magical butter sweet starter kit. It's, I don't know, it's worth $300. I'm sure it's incredible. Um, and uh, we're gonna give away two of those to two lucky winners. One reminder, please make sure you're muted, uh, but definitely feel free to put your video on. I, I put my view on gallery and I love seeing people's faces every week. Um, that's it, let's rock and roll you guys. Randy, we are so excited to have you on the show today. Please tell us more about yourself. Well, um, first of all, my last name is with one E, not like that band C either that stole my last name. Hell, oh I no, got is that a typo? It is a typo. Sorry about that, Randy. Oh it's man. Okay. If I had a nickel, at least it's not Brandy Seether. It's Randy Sether. Nice to meet me, everyone out there. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here today um, to share some of the success of Magical Butter, um, not only online but with Clavio and um, across, you know, the different marketing channels. Awesome. And Randy, what were you doing before you joined Magical Butter? You know, I started off as a um, strategic planner in the ad agency space, working with a lot of retail, a lot of automotive, um, doing a lot of, um, you know, traditional media, moving to digital space, went over full automotive and then, you know, went to Burning Man one year and I said, what am I doing with my life? I want to help people with marketing instead of, you know, selling more tires, right? Mm -hmm. So I got into the more of the social marketing space with, um, 
starting ad campaigns to help bring awareness to things like human trafficking and sex trafficking and really hard um, things to work in. Yeah. And being able to enact some change and really drive some change through messaging and marketing um, actually started the abolish movement um, back in 2013, which is now international um, to help again those human trafficking victims. So after learning a lot about social cause marketing and how to really use these marketing powers for good in the world, can very near and dear to my heart personally and now professionally. So as an uh, excuse me, I'm in Florida right now. So as this uh, opened up for legalization, uh, late 2016, early 2017, uh, I jumped right in and it just, I, I'm never looking back for, from cannabis, but it's been such a growing market and a lot, it's so new and a lot of things are unregulated or overregulated that it's every day is different and it lets me really be creative as a marketing professional. Totally. So I, um, I'm happy to be in this space. Yeah, that's that's awesome. What an awesome journey um, and that your path kind of went like that. Um, and we are going to talk about some of that because I think that it's important that we cover some of that um, because we have a lot of people from the community listening in today that are in that market. Um, so we're going to definitely get into that. But first, uh, let's talk about magical brands, magical butter. Uh, what does the company sell? When did you guys start? Who is the owner? Who is your target audience? Tell us more. Well, we started back in 2012 when legalization on the West Coast was really budding, pun intended. There'll be a lot of puns. I apologize now. We're in the weed space. Here we are. So back in 2012, our founder, Garen Angel, he had a friend that was suffering from some Crohn's disease issues um, and found that cannabis was helping him, but not enough. And after <clears throat> hearing from different doctors and scientists that consuming cannabis um, affects your body differently, especially for internal inflammation and issues with Crohn's. He said, I'm gonna help make it easier because you can make cannabis butter or edibles on a stove top, but it's a very messy and, and very, you know, not an easy process, but you can still do it. So, you know, our um, founder, Gary Angel went ahead and and develop this machine and there's this is now the um the third iteration of the machine it is a pretty much like a, a crock pot with an emergen blender inside and it also has the, all the preset settings for making infused butter oils like olive oil coconut oil grapeseed oil for topicals or you can infuse alcohol for alcohol tinctures which usually people use that to make um gummies which are one of our most popular treats mm -hmm. there we go those are so colorful i love it yes she can make with your sweets bundle if you win the prize today there you go but yeah so yeah it's definitely grown quite um quite exponentially now that legalization has continued to spread across the country and world um so yeah it's okay. it's it's been a great ride. Who's like your, who's your target audience? So when you guys first started the company, like how did you, you know, who did you go after? Well, you know, at the beginning, there weren't many advertising avenues, traditional ones open to cannabis. So, right. you know, the space is very, you know, going to smoke shops and, you know, for lack of a better term, Cheech and Chong sort of audiences is where we began the, <clears throat> excuse me, the tie dye and, and the and the people that really knew about cannabis and already believed in it. Mm -hmm. That was back then. <laughs> now it's probably your mom. It's your grandma. It's uh -huh. people that the as the education has spread. It's anyone that is trying to take their health and happiness into their own hands, and that it's really the DIY edible maker um, or lotion maker across the board. So uh -huh. our demographics have definitely opened up into some much larger audiences. <laughs> awesome. Ashley's going, it's me. I'm the target audience. Yeah. <laughs> so I can definitely see that how it's, how it's just expanded over the years. Um, yeah. Great. So let's start with the obvious. And there were a ton of community questions submitted about this. So I kind of just packaged them all up in one. So we're going to spend some time on this. So obviously CBD has been one of the hottest commodities in the market since the widespread legalization of cannabis in the United States. 
And for amazing reasons, you just mentioned, you know, it really helps with Crohn's, so many different things. You know, I personally use it for anxiety and to help me sleep. Um, it's worked wonders. Now, you guys specifically are not, a, Magical Butter is not a CBD company. You know, you sell the kitchen products to make some of the stuff. However, you have another site or a sister company that does sell CBD. So you do have some really great knowledge around this topic. It seems like you've been in this business for a very long time. Um, so you know about the restrictions to advertise and sell online. Social media, huge one, Google, even some e-commerce platforms, um, which you're going to go into that it's not really the platform, it's the payment processor. However, uh, <laughs> Can you explain uh, more about these restrictions and offer some alternatives um, that you've seen be been successful for the brands? Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just a little background. We Magical Brands is our umbrella company. Our, our flagship product, Magical Butter, and all of the accessories that go along with the DIY side, that's on magicalbutter.com. And as many of you other CBD companies that are watching right now know of all the regulations, we made the business decision to keep our finished products, the do it for me, the I just want the lotion and the, the tinctures already made, we put on magical.com for many reasons, <clears throat> many of them advertising restriction reasons. Um, when we first started in CBD, we did not, you know, as you guys know, or may not know, no Facebook, no Google, nothing. Since then, that's opened up to allow some topicals and like shopping ads. Um, so, you know, like a, like a topical gel for CBD. So as we funnel our advertising, paid advertising through Google shopping, send them to magical.com. And then we have our magical butter ads going to magical butter. Main reason is if one were compromised, it wouldn't shut down our main site, right? So mm -hmm. as everybody that's been in the CBD space knows that, you know, there's algorithms and bots that tell you something isn't good, even though last week it worked. So it's always changing. Um, so uh, the business decision to keep them separate has proved to be a very good one. Um, and then with Clavio, we've really been able to um, cross promote the second site with our existing, existing audience um, and being able to do some of those, the, the cross promotion there and a lot of organic SEO as well. Yeah, so we're definitely going to get into some of the stuff that Clavio has helped you guys with. But as far as like alternatives, so like you mentioned SEO is huge, like content is very big. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, watching what you write in the content, um, tons of affiliate marketing, events, um, influencers, native ads, podcasting. Like, can you go through maybe one or two of those and speak to what has really had an impact? Um, that you've seen have it have an impact for CBD specifically or cannabis either I'm sure we have multiple people listening in today so if it's different maybe go through both briefly uh, just so we can hit each audience I mean for magical butter for the you know we sell a machine that we can't say put cannabis into it right. so it's using words like herbs cooking with herbs and elevate and lifted and things, you know, all of the, the terms outside of the ones you actually want to say has been able to help us <clears throat> get approved through Facebook advertising and Google advertising, which has had the biggest impact on our brand. Now mm -hmm. CBD specifically, the finished product side, again, very much um, more regulated and it feels like how cannabis was five years ago um, and not opened up yet. So with the affiliate, um, excuse me, the, um, the influencer marketing, we definitely dabble there, but also looking at market expansion into other international markets that are more open to CBD and are growing in that market as well. So yeah, CBD, it's, I don't know if anybody has it fully figured out yet, honestly, and yeah. it's kind of, it's pretty annoying as a marketer. It's like, no, this worked, or I thought this was going to work. No. Um, topicals are the, the safest and organic SEO is, is the way to really start to grow it. Um, but again, having your payment processor locked down and, and, and good to go is, is going to be key as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and as far as like Facebook goes, so I know, you know, you guys, you know, have kind of 
found a different way with running ads there, but you guys have a magical butter community on Facebook. It has almost 50,000 members in it. Let's talk about that. Like, I think that's incredible way to utilize Facebook without being shut down or, you know, having to have a headache around it, unless there were problems with it that you guys overcome overcame. You know, I think that, that it's a, it's a closed private Facebook group. So can't send ads to it. It's fully organic. And these are people that are either machine owners or are just edible makers that want to learn more. So they might be pre, you know, pre-purchase. It's a community and people answer questions for each other. They're helping each other with, Hey, I have a daughter that is suffering with, you know, epilepsy and people sharing resources. Oh, try this recipe and, and different things. It's really giving people that sense of community where they can't talk about it anywhere else. Where else are they asking people this question, these questions? Right. Where else could they even find the answer besides just Googling? So out of our almost 600,000 regular Facebook, you know, followers on our, our private, or excuse me, our open page, this group of Magical Butter Users United has been um, not only a great place for insights as a marketer, you know, if I ever need a quote, I know where to find it. If I, it's almost like a, a, a mini panel of six years of conversations that I can mine for, for real authentic um, feelings and insights from our actual customers um, and how they feel. Yeah. That's awesome. And that, what a great space to do it. Right. Cause you're right. It's that you don't get a lot from Googling, you know, about that stuff. So um, having a community of people who are actually using it and are experienced in it and have went through it is so powerful. Um, so that's awesome that you guys are doing that. So you mentioned briefly about the payment processor. Um, is there any other advice there? Um, I know, you know, we, Clavio partners with a lot of e-commerce platforms and they've been obviously great partners, but there has been issues with maybe not the platforms themselves, but the payment processor. So, you know, why, why are there major issues there and how can, how can people kind of work around that? Good luck. No. Um, <laughs> Come on, Randy. <laughs> email me later. No. Um, we, it's kind of, it was a trial and error. You know, you have to sit on a lot of calls and, and get a, a lot of no's before you find the yes. And you're going to be paying a higher percentage than what you're used to with uh, normal companies. Um, but we all, beyond the payment processor, something else that really was helpful because CBD is still new to the masses, being able to give a trial without any, um, you know, they can try it for the first time and not have to, you know, have a big investment. And something that we found that really helped was finding a financing partner that works with CBD. And you want to know who that is. It's Cecil. Um, you can look on our website, you know, it's not a secret, but um, they, they've been great, you know, so it's somebody doesn't have to spend 70 to $5 on a, you know, right away, you know, cause there's a lot of people right now, especially with the pandemic that, you know, money's tight and, um, and that's also why on the DIY side, we've seen such growth because if you've ever tried to buy edibles or lotions at a dispensary, it gets very pricey. And if you have access to the plant matter yourself, um, then it can be very, very cost effective and also helps start people's businesses if they live in that sort of state. Yeah, that's awesome. No, that's good advice. Um, okay, so moving into Clavio a bit, uh, you know, because I, I do understand that email has been, um, email, pop-up forms, all of that have been a, have helped make a huge impact for you guys. Um, why did you choose Clavio? Uh, and, you know, how have we been a good partner in helping drive on the online revenue for the brand? Well, we were with the monkey before the other <laughs> Mailchimp. <laughs> I don't want to say the name, you know. It's okay. We can say the name. We're <laughs> um, Yeah. So we were with them for quite a few years. And we, as a company, as we've been scaling to other countries and into CBD and things like that, we wanted to find a partner that, um, first of all, we could pick up a phone and talk to and, and have that one-on-one -on -one relationship. And you came highly recommended from um, the Allure agency who I work with to on our campaigns and our flows, highly recommended. So said, heck, it can't be worse than the monkey. So 
here we are. <laughs> and I'm very, very glad that we did because I love Clavio and uh, shout out to Kaylee. Um, she's my, she was our rep for a long time. And yes, Kaylee's your CSM. She highly recommended you guys. Um, so we are so glad that you guys are with Clavio and you chose us to be uh, your partner. So let's get into it. Um, but first, what's your favorite function or feature of the platform? I like the A-B tests because we uh, we are all about testing, especially on the pop-up forms. Um, we have a really solid subscription rate. So sometimes you guess which one's gonna win. And I'm really surprised a lot of the time by which wins in the A-B test. It's like my little internal you know, game. But having that ability, especially for subscription forms, has been has been clutch for us. Yeah, you are not the only marketer that said that. Clavio wins most of the time, so. <laughs> but it's awesome that um, we have the that functionality because um, I think it's a huge part of marketing and um, always be testing. You know, that's what we say. So also the Shopify uh, seamless connection has been great. As we migrated to Shopify, we migrated to Clavio, and it's it's. It works so much, uh, so much for us. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the good stuff you've got going on in Clavio that's had an impact on Magical Butter. We'll start with a question that came from the community. What has been your most successful tactic to get people to sign up for your emails? Is that a question? Or are you going to show the? the uh, no, this is just a question. So uh, you can answer that, and then we're going to show some. Show it. Oh no, we're going to get into it in a little bit, but no, this first question, let's just talk about how you get people to sign up for your email, email newsletter, you know, get incorporated into your list. This, this one's super simple. People love to eat and they love sugar and sweets. And, um, if you say, Hey, you want the best recipes and the best edible recipes? Like, Oh yeah, I want that. So if you know, you're putting beauty shots up of, of um, green butter in your in your photo. Sign up here and learn how to make these things um, or gummies, like I was showing earlier. Um, it really helps people click and, and tune in for more. And some of our most successful newsletters are recipes of the month that we put out, mm -hmm. and some of them are sourced from that magical butter users community. So again, that community gives back to us, and we're highlighting a lot of the, the key players there. Awesome. So food, food is the answer. <laughs> Put food out there. Burger, <laughs> cheese. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Everything that people crave. Exactly. Exactly. That might not be that great for you, but that's okay. They're, they'll be intrigued. Um, great. So let's start with your flows. Um, we do have uh, a slide or two to, I want to talk about this. So I love your welcome series, and it happens to be one of your best performing flows in Clavio. Um, let's discuss a little about this flow and the strategy behind it, and how are you guys getting such great open and click-through rates on this? So this is, yeah, this is the flow. So if we want to just kind of walk through, it's interesting. With this flow, you guys uh, do a customer versus a non-customer. So that's your conditional splitting. Yep. So you either just sign up because you came to the website through an ad and you want to learn more, but you're not ready to purchase yet. Again, the recipes are one of the best things to, to inspire someone to say, I can do that. I want to do that myself. Um, and then if they purchase, like you said, they're in the purchaser flow. When we invite them in, we want them to be a part of our magical family. Um, and that's where we're inviting them into that Magical Butter Users United um, group so they can continue learning. Um, and it also it helps from a customer service standpoint. You know, they're not calling every single call. They're asking other people like them. It's like, hey, actually, what would you recommend? So it helps build that community further. And from a revenue standpoint, there's a lot of um, upsells. And, you know, I, I want those gummy trays and that, that sort of um, inspiration there. Um, also, we, speaking of that CBD, we will say thank you for purchasing. Here's a, a, um, a coupon to try out our CBD on our sister site, magical.com. So men, earlier when I was mentioning the CBD strategies, if you have another business that's non-CBD and being able to, on the sign-up form, make sure that it's compliant, that they know that they're receiving from both, both websites. 
um, that, that information, then you can cross sell over to them post purchase, but we never like to divert prior to purchase. Right. That's awesome. And I think we have, um, I think one or two examples of one of one of the email creatives in there. So the one on the left is um, someone that's already been a customer. So they've purchased before. And then the one on the right is someone who's never purchased from you guys before. So you notice that you guys put that button right at the top there. Um, so let's talk through kind of the main differences between these two and, and why you've why why this is working why is this particular email working so well i think this is one of the best ones in flow the one on the right i think that was that's the one with the quotes sorry it's kind of small for me over here i know that's the inspirational pieces one second yeah that that one on the left is a welcome back series so that's somebody that we haven't seen in a while and that we know that has purchased. So that's where we cross promote over to the topical side. Got it. Um, so on the right, the non-purchasers, showing them the different uses, why, why it's ideal, again, that further inspiration. And then further down that series, we have customer quotes. We also have PR quotes, again, further giving them the reasons to believe on that path of purchase. That's awesome. Yeah, and then obviously you're putting front and center a stick of butter and the the machine uh, for people that obviously haven't purchased it yet. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And Great. Gummy. Yeah, it does look gummy. Uh, so let's move into uh, campaigns now. So I actually pulled two campaigns that really stood out, not just by revenue, but you had high click through rate, high open rate. I love the strategy of the segmenting that you had along with these. Um, that went along with these and then the content. So let's chat, chat through the Valentine's Day one first and then we'll get into the next one. So I like that this one was themed. Um, so let's chat through this. There's a lot going on here. And I think you had two versions of this, if I can remember. Um, and it was interesting to see uh, kind of the metrics for each of those. Yeah, so you know, going back to our overall strategy, we talked about all of these regulations and, and kind of in the different channels, but email is the one place I can say what I want to say. I can say cannabis, I can say, you know, make some edibles, you know, like give, give the gift she really wants this Valentine's Day or he. Um, and I can actually show nugs as you see in that top sure. um, yep. part. So, you know, we can't show a lot of those things and in, in, on other um, channels per se, but the two different versions, the only thing that was changed was the offer. So it's the same recipes, but on one offer, it shows the full bundle if they don't own a machine yet. And then on the second version, it was more of a, just an accessory kit for an upsell for a returning customer. Um, but these, again, the, these recipes, the high click through rate is because they look good and, and people want to see how they can make, make them. them. Yeah, yeah. So recipes are, we always see a higher click through rate. Um, also, if you're featuring recipes, always put recipes in the title. I have made that mistake of forgetting recipes in the title. I'm like, where'd my click through rate go? So people, you know, are looking for that inspiration, especially around holidays and those major eating holidays and gifting holidays. People like to make gifts for people. Um, as we know, so that's another reason for the success. Right, right. And I love that you guys, you know, it's the same email, same theme. You just tweaked that top offer and that copy for what audience you were sending to. So you didn't like create a brand new email and all of that. It was really, uh, you reused that content, which saves time. Um, and you probably, I don't know if you created templates like that or saved the blocks in Klaviyo that you could easily just input them in. Yeah, our recipes of the month follow the block form, very BuzzFeed right. looking. Excuse me. And then all those images are clickable directly to the specific recipes. Um, so, yeah. And you guys can obviously see who's clicking on which recipes so that you can create more or follow up content from that. So, for instance, you know, the chocolate covered, is that bacon? Mm hmm creating more content on if people are, if you see a majority of people clicking on that. So that's awesome that you're using those different blocks with different links. 
and not just sending someone to like a recipe page. That's what I meant by that. Yeah. And it's really great when we launch a new recipe on Shopify, put it in an email, drive the traffic directly right away to that recipe email. And then it really helps with the SEO and our ranking with Shopify blogs are usually one will be in the top oh, 100%. 10 of Shopify because of the email pushes right away upon upon launching. So it's, it's been a great sort of funnel for us. That's awesome. That's really good to know. Um, so let's look at the other one. So different strategy. Let's chat through the product launch one, which I love. I, hopefully we got the Giphy image on this. We did. Yay. Go my team, Kelsey and Trevor. Um, so uh, let's talk through this. This is when you guys introduced the mushroom powders. Um, so let's talk about this campaign and, and why it worked and how it was successful. I'm so proud of that gift. I love that gift. Um, so this great was cute. This was a great um, success for the launch. When um, you know, with the name Magical, you got to be in mushrooms, right? Um, but these aren't those type of mushrooms. These are functional mushroom powders, like lion's mane, chaga, reishi, turkey tail, and we have an immunity blend. Um, as the research is is released, they show the the entourage effect of CBD or cannabis along with the mushrooms, um, you know, different of uh, their different health properties and how they work together in your body for, you know, those benefits. So it was a great line extension. Clavio and email has been our main driver um, for this as we've started to get into ads, which major surprise there, magical mushrooms put together in an ad, you know, kind of sends off some some flags, so or red flags <laughs> learned, you know, sometimes you gotta learn that way. But, yeah. um, but we, since launching these two months ago, we were getting a lot of repeat, um, a lot of repeat purchases. So that made us go, why aren't we doing subscription based? So our next thing in Clavio to launch is a subscription, um, follow-up email flows. So we get those people in a um, monthly, um, re-up. Oh, I love that. That's an amazing idea. And I don't know if I answered your question because I well, started. Reading. You, you <laughs> definitely did. Now I want to, I want to point out to the audience that you see three different images here, but actually this is one full email. I just couldn't, we couldn't fit it all on one. Um, so just wanted to know, like, where did the majority of people click here? Because sometimes like with really long emails, you know, I like the strategy. So you started with the fun GIF you say, you know, discover these, you know, holistic powder mushroom, functional mushrooms, you give the benefit of them. So they boost immunity. And then you go into offering a five pack. So where did you see like the highest engagement through with click throughs there? For this one, it was, it's the five pack. Um, and that was towards the bottom. It was like, after they learned about each one, which you can see a portion of like the lion's mane, they had a blurb and a picture for each one of them down. I don't think that made it into the preview, but it was almost the, the education happened and then they clicked on the, the five pack because one, there's a cost savings and you, you, they, I think it was more of a trial basis. Sure. But it's interesting as we find the things that are further up. Hey, Andy, shout out to Andy from Allure, from Allure um, Clavio side there. Um, I, lo I love our agency, but um the immunity blend and the lion's mane that are always further up on the emails tend to do better. And I have a hypothesis it's because of the placement, but we haven't. Okay. Been able to prove All that. right. Very interesting. That's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, okay, cool. So uh, moving right along, uh, this question comes from the community. Who is coming up with all of these recipes you have on your website? Holy cow, you guys. I went on the website and I was like, so much food and recipes. Um, do you have any audience engagement with this content? Do you incentivize them? You know, let's talk a little bit about how you're coming up with that, with that content. This brand was built on giveaways. We have given away so many machines. Um, our, again, our founder and CEO, Garen Angel, he is all about giving, giving, giving. So a lot of those MBU members, Magical Butter, the community on Facebook, I mentioned, it's called Magical Butter Users United plug. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll accept you if you, but, um, they, a lot of them have been given machines or the past, or they're looking to get machines. So a lot of times where, you know, we give a lot of machines away. We just launched a new, um, site, uh, excuse me, 
landing page on our website to submit a recipe. Mm -hmm. It's all our community. So we're actually building a, a, a newsletter right now, or excuse me, a flow in our series to say, come back and submit a recipe. Now that you've had the machine for a while, come back and, and reshare, chance to win. You, you know, we'll give them the other products and those sort of things. So we're just now starting the more formalized submit a recipe, but we work with a lot of um, professional chefs and home chefs around the world to submit the recipes. Shout out Chef Carosi, Chef Jeff, Rudy, Chef Renee, she's internal. We have an amazing um, gluten-free chef that works for the, the company, Chef Renee Mercedes. That's she awesome. She's been celiac for years, so having that health side um, internally has been invaluable. And honestly, sometimes I'm like, oh, we need to try to make that. And then, you know, we're, the production team and I are, are making those things. We'll and spin it up, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So I love that you guys are you know, A, it doesn't make you guys write all this content and take, it takes a lot of time to write content. And I'm sure people are like, not in their heads, right? Like coming up with content. So you guys, it's awesome that you're reaching out to your community and saying, hey, submit your recipe for a chance to be featured. Like people want to feel special, right? Like they have this machine, they want to feel special. They want to be showcased. So I love, that's a great idea content wise that you're, that you're doing. I'm sure I tell you can scoop that up. If you, if you put a recipe out and they don't like it, that's the other thing about a community. They'll tell you what you think, whether you like it or not, but it's the best. It's like, guys, we, we forgot a step on the recipe. We, we need to make sure that this happens first. So sometimes we get that real time feedback. If it's a, if it's a recipe that needs to be tweaked or they have suggestions. So they actually help make them better, even if they're not directly from the community. That's awesome. No, that's, that's, that's really, really cool. I love that initiative. Um, so last question before we uh, get into making some adult fruity pebble treats. Um, Magical Brands operates on five continents and in 37 countries to date. What has been the biggest challenge in scaling the brand to this magnitude? Um, and what advice can you give those listening in today who want to expand their products into more international markets? <sighs> Should I give the real answer or the canned answer? I tell you, when you're real, we do real on live from your laptop. So let's, let's get real. <laughs> inventory, like I can sell it all day long. We, but we have to have the inventory to back it up. And yeah. at, we've learned as we've moved out of startup phase and we've been scaling so quickly, um, keeping, a, you know, ahead of inventory. And so we never sell out has been um, a wonderful problem to have, you know, especially since the pandemic hit, we've been seeing such massive sales oh, People yeah. are at home. They're starting their own businesses. They're trying to help themselves because they can't buy their meds anymore. Like all of the macro trends have been fueling this growth. And I mean, our awesome email campaigns, but uh, we have definitely learn to get ahead of the inventory the right way. And that has been one of our major challenges that luckily we're on the flip side of, but it's been, um, it definitely has been a challenge. Right. That's awesome. Well, that's really good to know. I see the chat going off. People are loving this. So um, that's all the questions that I have. Um, I don't know. It's 440. So if there's any additional questions, if not, we can start, you know, getting into making the fruity pebbles and we can kind of pulling questions along the way, but, um, Renee or Randy, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, lots of good tidbits there. I personally learned a lot, um, about, you know, that whole market, um, and what you guys do and how, how you're having an impact despite some of the challenges, um, that are still there today. Um, but before we make some treats, I'd love to know if you guys would recommend this show to others in the Clavio community. We started this show with only like 90 people showing up each week or registering at least. Now we have close to thousands each week. So I want to know if you guys would recommend this show to the community. Please let me know. I'm going to launch the poll. Let us know how you like the show today. It's anonymous, so don't, don't worry. I won't come at you. Um, but it's a good way for us to help us improve too. So Randy, what are we doing here? What do we need? Show us all about the magical butter machine and how to make these treats. The first question anybody has when they get the machine is what do I make first? And my answer is always the same and it's fruity pebble treats. 
Um, why? The, it kind of covers and masks the taste of, of uh, the herb, if you will. Um, they're delicious and they don't melt, so you can take them camping with you, I'm just saying. But um, one of them, you know, just to be clear, you don't put everything in here and this makes the crispy treats, right? This machine is used to add your cannabis to, and I don't know why my thing keeps sleeping. <laughs> yeah, we want to be clear that the magical butter machine does not actually make the, it's the oil or butter that you put in the, yeah. <laughs> in the mad, yeah, in the magical butter, crispy, mm -hmm. rice crispy treats. Yeah. So when you're cooking with um, hemp or cannabis, whether it's CBD or THC, before you cook with it to activate the, the molecules, you need to do a process called decarboxylation. That's a big word, Brandy. I know. Call it decarb, right? You need to decarb it. It's pretty much toasting your cannabis. It's that, it's that thing that happens when you add a flame to a, a CBD joint. Um, so anyway, we sell this decarb box that is a silicone shell here that you add your cannabis into and you put it in the oven to decarb it. It has a little um, thermometer that you put on the outside, a little meat thermometer. So you do it uh, 250 for 30 minutes. And I know that sounds scary to put an ounce of herb into an oven and toast it, right? And it has a very, um, here, I'll show you. Yeah, kind of, let's see what that looks like. It kind of turns like more brown. And okay. it's got like a, a roasty, toasty um, smell to it. Okay. And then the number one question is, does it stink up my house? I have nosy neighbors. I get it. I do too. Um, it definitely cuts down the smell of cooking with herb. Not a hundred percent. Got it. Um, I say light some uh, Nag Champa, you know, incense if you want, but no, it definitely cuts down the smell by, you know, a lot. So after, you know, you decarb your herb in this box, it's all roasty toasty there. So this is about an ounce of cannabis. And you just add it to your machine. Doo, 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 doo. It smells good. Can you guys smell that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then I think. Well, people are following along. I personally am not following along today because I still have to do some stuff. But I wonder if people are following along with you right now. I don't even know if anybody has the magical machine or magical butter machine on the call, but let us know. Well, if you don't have one yet and you wanted to dabble before getting a machine, um, there's stovetop methods. It's a lot messier and a lot of stirring and everything. But if you don't have the funds right now to get the whole setup, I get it. We have a lot of us start the old school method, as we say. But um, one of the most popular things besides butter to infuse is coconut oil. Because not only can you eat co infused coconut oil, you can rub it on your body. It can be a topical for joint pain. It can be a massage oil, Absolutely. You know, a lubricant. It can be a lot of different things um, that we have different patients and customers using it for. So this is about two cups of coconut oil. So I'm just going to dump it on in top of my herb. And then after we add the coconut oil, we're going to add um, an ingredient called lecithin. And you may have seen this on your ingredient list. I'm not adding all this. I'm going to cheat because I have it done already. But um, you might have seen this on in a lot of food products that you have. It's an emulsifier, and it helps the cannabinoids bind to a fat or a lipid, a.k.a. you get more of the good stuff out of your herb into your edibles. It also helps your body process edibles. Um, people take lecithin as a, a supplement as well. Okay. Um, so there's, we sell a little bottle of lecithin. Got it. It's just like a little powder. We use sunflower, um, non-GMO lecithin. There's soy out there, which I wouldn't suggest, but it's your body. There we go. So that's what you're adding now is yeah, the I, perfect. I added two tablespoons of lecithin. And I'm looking for a napkin because my hand's all greasy. There we go. You just put the lid on and on, on the top, you just set the temperature. And then there's a, a one hour oil button. So it literally says oil. So it, you know, it makes it high proof. I mean, dummy proof. Um, there we go. I'm going to set it at 130 for one hour. Okay. And then 
then go watch 90 Day Fiance or whatever you're on. There you go. Get your bottle of wine. Absolutely. Go do your thing and it's going to heat up to temperature. You'll heal up here. It start kicking on here okay. in the um, as it heats up. But I did some movie magic. And when you're done, you will get a nice green oil. If you can see wow. that. That's very cool looking. Yeah. And how, long, so how long does that normally take, Randy? Like an hour? You said you said it at like an hour, hour and a half. Is that typically how long it takes or is it the machine that makes it cook faster? Um, you can do it for longer. Actually, I should have done it for two hours. It, you can do it for one hour, but I like to do it two hours because it's a little darker for me. Sure. But um, pretend I push two hours, okay? But um, so once this is done, so it, it speeds up the process a bit, but it, when you do it on a stovetop, the immersion blender that'll, it, that'll stir it and grind it up, that'll be you doing this for two hours on the stove and making sure it doesn't scorch on the bottom and all that. Yeah, nobody's got time for that. So this is the better way to go. <laughs> so actually I'm going to turn the thing here. You can see my... And obviously, you know, if you're watching and you don't want to put, you know, um, magical butter uh, in your fruity pebbles, you treats, you don't have to. You would just use normal butter. Yeah, and and hey, or coconut oil, maybe. You know. Yeah, we've been talking about cannabis this whole time. People are using this for different apothecary reasons. And hey, I want to make a um, a garlic butter or a rosemary. Um, compound butter there's a lot of non-infused things and a lot of lotions that people just lotion makers and candle make you know yeah the machine does a lot outside of the cannabis world but you know soups salads dressings um all that fun stuff but that is the main reason people use it lisa is asking are the parts dishwasher safe no they are not nope you gotta can wash <laughs> there is a self-cleaning button Oh, neat. So you add um, your water and a little bit of soap and put the lid back on and push clean and it'll go through a cleaning cycle. So it helps cool. loosen everything up and then you just wipe it out on the inside. So exactly. it doesn't do exactly. a back massage yet, but you know, we're going to get there someday. Yeah. Cool. Even better though. Self-cleaning. <laughs> awesome. Right. So what are we doing now? We're going to, we're going to pour the butter in the pan. Yes, we are going to heating up my pan right here. We're gonna pour this um, infused coconut oil into the pan, like so. And by the way, pro tip, uh, don't lick your hands or the spoon. I know it's tempting, but then you might be, uh, you know, blasting off a little more than you want to. Like, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I mean, you can, but I wouldn't. So we're going to add the um, marshmallows yes. in to the coconut oil. Doo -doo. Oh, that smells good. I'm telling you, Zoom really needs to add a smell-o-vision feature. They do, right? Okay. So as that's heating up, just like, um, where's me? Turn this down. There we go. So anybody right. else watching from home, if you guys have questions while we let the marshmallows melt, um, feel free to pop those in the chat um, about anything, marketing, the machine, you know, different foods. What's been like your most popular recipe to date? Ooh, our most popular recipe um, for beginners is just straight up butter. But for people that once they've got had the machine for a little bit and they want to go to the intermediate level, definitely gummies. Um, Chris, do you mind helping uh, showing off those gummies there? To make gummies, you would eat, you could use coconut oil or you could um, make a infused alcohol tincture um, and then reduce that down on the stove um, to make your gummies. And people really like gummies because they can control their dose, if you will. Sure. A lot of states right now have a 10 milligram max per piece on on edibles, which um, say a veteran is trying to get off of painkillers. Um, that's a very common um, conversation we have. Or 
I don't want to be on opioids anymore. Um, they have that 10 milligrams isn't going to cut it. So if they are making their own medicine at home and machines on there, um, if they're making their own medicine at home, they can um, make them as, as weak or strong as they want for their specific needs. And it's really helping people change their life. That's amazing. Um, all right. This is all melted here. I don't know if you can see how green this is, but it is, I can see it. Well, St. Patty's day is tomorrow. So I guess that's like, you know, yeah free celebration to St. Patty's Day. Yeah, I think that's why we picked this. I was like, is 420 an available date? <laughs> and you're like, no. We we, can... Yeah, I don't know if we, yeah, we, we kind of stayed away from going that route, but uh, yeah. definitely, I don't even think 420 is on a Tuesday, but uh, I love that we're doing this now and it's green, yeah. green butter for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, we're going green, baby. Going green. So now that this is all melted up, Chris, do you want to give me a uh, assist? Maybe on an overhead. Should we do that? They can see this. All right. Here. I'm gonna add in my cereal. All right. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. I would make it a little bit more mixed. Oh yeah. Here we go. Going directly in. Yeah, we're on record, but it's okay. There awesome. All right, now let's fold it in. Fold it in. This is the most important part. And if you want to be real extra, you could in put, you know, infuse your um, some white chocolate with the the cannabis as well, and do a white chocolate drizzle, or maybe CBD drizzle okay. the white chocolate. So you want to fold that in. Don't want to get too crunchy. So while you're folding, Randy, um, Jane from the community had a question. How often are you guys sending your newsletter? So what's like the cadence there when you're sending campaigns versus flows so that you're not kind of hitting everybody all at once? You know, so last year we were going for a once a week cadence and the recipes are the recipes of the month are once a month. But we've been adding recipes into our other newsletters and we've increased our cadence to be twice a week. And we'll usually focus on a sale email like, hey, we have a new offering or bundle deal, um, or we'll feature our resource section like, oh, here's a new blog about um, how to properly, you know, calculate how many milligrams are in your infusion with this dosage calculator. So nice. our SEO blog content through email. Um, so we have more content to actually have a more aggressive cadence twice per week. And we've been keeping an eye on the subscription rates and unsubscribes and, and everybody's staying engaged. So it's been quite successful. Um, but like you said there, sorry, my hands are kind of greasy. That's okay. Uh, so by the way, I'm putting now this into the pan. Okay. Do, 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 do. These are so green. Oh, we're getting the, uh, there we go. The Insta yes. shot in there. All right. Nice. So yeah. after you do this, you will obviously put them in the refrigerator, let them harden up a little bit. Uh, if you can wait, if you could, if you could, you know, if you're having temptations, <laughs> but yeah. probably good to wait, pop them in the refrigerator and then sit back with a glass of white wine and enjoy your adult fruity pebbles. Yeah, and you know, you just, um, you want to make, when you're eating them, you can always eat more, you can never eat less. Um, start slow and low. And we also have a dosage calculator on our website, so you can calculate, hey, if I put in one ounce of herb, it'll have this much CBD and this much THC awesome. um, in my final infusion, so you can um, safely um, consume. Safely. Yeah, you make it easy for the customer to be able to tell what how much to use for their body weight or whatever it is. So beautiful. Awesome. Well, Randy, thank you so much for making that uh, with our community today. I definitely can't wait to try them this weekend. Um, we have a really quickly, we have four minutes. I'd love to do the giveaway. This is a pretty major giveaway, so you guys got to get your hands on uh, we're going to do the first and twentieth person to post in the chat the correct answer. And I think, Randy, you are going to ask this trivia question. Okay. 
what's my favorite color? No, um, no. <laughs> what, what was the reason um, our founder, Garen Angel, invented the magical butter machine? What was his friend dealing with? What ailment? Yep, we see him coming in now. Oh, they're all coming in. So I'm going to announce the first winner and then Trevor on my team, he's going to count down to the 20th one. And um, I'm going to go through some recap stuff and then we're going to announce the last winner at the end. So let me scroll up here. Good job, you guys. Lisa, you are the, hopefully there's not any more Lisa's. Lisa Mann, I think it's how you say it. Lisa Mann, you are the winner. It was Crohn's. So uh, obviously CBD helps uh, with Crohn's. So um that's awesome. Uh, and Pete Quinn, you are our 20th winner. So congratulations to Lisa and Pete. We will email you guys after the show and get you your magical butter sweets bundle so you guys can make some adult fruity pebble treats uh, at your own house. Look at that. That's what, is that what you get? Yes, you get the machine, the decard box, a butter, silicone butter tray to make your sticks. That's um, incredible. Spatula, and then three silicone measuring cups. Oh, so man. You Pete, Lisa, I'm coming over, you guys. Get ready for me. <laughs> awesome. Well, all right, you guys, that's the show. Thank you so much for joining us and Magical, Magical Butter. I hope you were able to jot down some good notes to apply to your brand. If not, no worries, you guys, because we filmed this, we recorded it, and we're going to send a copy of the recording with some additional resources in a few hours. I want to give a huge thank you to Randy over at Magical Butter. And of course, you guys, the community, for taking the time to join us today. Next week, we've got an iconic brand on the show. Um, not to age me or anything, but I was definitely wearing this brand back in middle school. Um, so we've got O'Neill joining us. And if you don't know O'Neill, they are a massive apparel company. Um, the owner actually was a surfer, and they really changed the whole kind of surf market. Um, and lifestyle. Um, so we are going to chat with the marketing person over at O'Neill next week. Uh, we're going to talk about how they've transitioned to the e-commerce space because they were huge in the retail space, um, surf shops, all of that. So I hope you guys can join us. Um, you'll be able to sign up in the email uh, that we send you following this episode. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, everyone. And make sure you stay in tune for a very special event announcement coming tomorrow morning. See you next time, guys. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Stay Bye, magical. Ricky.